my wish for all of you, stay safe. Surprise, mother All I can tell y'all is that it's about to go down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest show on planet Earth. My man. This is the Toolbox. Enemy spotted. Featuring Zach Ristamaki. Oh, hell no. Stuart King Winsteck. <laughs> And Jarrett Andrews. I like turtles. Check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's toolbox time. Welcome to the toolbox, everybody, where we say things that we often have to cut out later. Friend show. We have not had to cut anything out of the show yet. Good. Thank God. Let's just... Unless I've missed it. That would be really bad. <laughs> Let's just take the recordings that we had for our sound check and burn them. I don't know how you can burn files on a computer, but they need to go. Stu? It's delete button. That's it right there. Welcome into the Toolbox, everybody. Episode 11... 12? 12. Episode 12 of the Toolbox. And unlike Tom Brady, we are not washed up. Maybe Stu. He's just as old as Tom Brady, but... Wow. Am I? That is that was like five insults in one punch, man. Is, yeah. is touchdown Tom thirty two? Oh, you're thirty two? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were forty two. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm no. bugging. I'm bugging already. Wow. I'm just looking that way. Ah, uh, yeah. Hard living. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. You were off by ten years. Yeah, you know what? Ten years. So is my face. Whatever. Hey, I call it like I see it, and apparently so does Stu. If you listen to the show recordings before. Um, but we are here now with a fantastic There's episode be a lot of the of Toolbox. For that if I do that one. We're gonna try to just make Stu really mad all day. So we're gonna talk about oh, good luck. our favorite Nick shows. We're gonna talk about Big Time Rush. Nickelodeon. Because I've been watching it. Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh. We're gonna go over I our Carly. Our, our, oh, I Carly, oh, dude. I Carly. Victorious. Was Sam Victorious? and Cat. Yeah, I actually, I actually went back through recently and watched Victorious. Yeah, dude, it's so funny. It's why good. is this so funny? I don't it know. has no business being that funny. You know why it's funny? You know who cares? Okay. Save it for the show. We'll save it for the show. Sure. We'll talk about our favorite Nickelodeon shows. Obviously, we got Stu's news, and we're going to get into Zach's personal life as well. Uh, <laughs> no, I know. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Stu. No, no, and Jared's. <laughs> no. Stu, what's up? what's up with Stu's news today, buddy? All right. Well, in Stu's news, we got big news out of both Jared and Zach that we're going to be Oh, my on. God. We also have several amazing stories. I'm hyped. I actually went all out and got several different stories. Um, I'm going to start with, we got a DC versus MCU. There's so much news going on. Uh, between DCU coming out with new stuff and MCU, like finally coming out with new stuff. Uh-huh. Fun, fun story. It's been over two years since the last Marvel movie. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? What? Wild. Yeah. Oh my god. No way. That's a real thing. Since, since, pro, Spider-Man was probably the last one, right? Spider-Man came out in... No, there's no way. It's a real thing. There's no uh, way, because Spider-Man came out in like... Well, you can challenge it all you want, sh- or you no, he's can right. hold he's on. Right. Huh? He's yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I can see. Let's think about how long ago As it was. As I normally am yeah. with my news, yeah. which is why they call it Stu's News. I'm not, I'm not even... I'm also going to have Zach read a story. I was about to say, He's if gonna you follow He's going to have us, me read a story, apparently. If you follow us on Patreon, you can get Stu's Nudes as well for the premium pack. That's <laughs> uh, the Toolbox's OnlyFans. I'll have you know. I was going to say, uh-huh. I was going to say, we don't have that uh, package set up yet. <laughs> Put Stu's nudes as like a five dollar one and see how many people take it. It's gonna, gonna be a hundred dollar one. It's gonna be a spaghetti recipe. Don't tempt me. I will say don't noodles. I, I will say don't touch my spaghetti right now. Don't threaten me with a good time. You just said I, it. I, I dare you to. Somebody touch my spaghetti. We can just do the clip over that, right? I mean, we could. I'm excited though. No, I've actually got so <laughs> many. Despite all of the BS, um, Jared's just so bad. Like you're out of practice. You it's don't so do it bad. anymore. I know. That's the first time I've done it in like four years. I 
Well, it's not been four years because we started the show three years ago. When so. you well, when you said it, a moth came out. We actually <laughs> we're actually just shy of the three year anniversary of the first time we did the toolbox. We're old. This December will be the three year anniversary. Wow! Yeah, December, you guys are finally December seventh. I was eight. It'll be three years since we've done it. I was 18 when we started the toolbox. And look at how little you've grown. What? Come on, bro. I'm, I'm a man now. I'm a little man, you know. I'll be 22 in March. Hey, man. When's your birthday in March? 13th. Day before St. Patrick's Day? Two. It's going to be the 15th. Two, Holy shit. I was 21 when we, I or I was 20 when we started this? Yeah. My God. I can't believe how young I was. As well, you were in your 20s. <laughs> <laughs> it's neither here nor there. He was, he was, he was still almost in his 30s, though. I remember <laughs> so young and so full of hope. And look at me now. <laughs> it's a great drink break. Yeah. Mm. What else is on Stu's news today, Stu? I mean, I could. Keep teasing them. Yeah, tease them. Or I can just jump right up. Well, Michael Phelps, do your thing. Going for the gold medal. Bingo, bango. Just like somebody uh, would say Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps. Jason Momoa was starving. After Game of Thrones. Hmm. Like for acting or food? Both. Nice. Thanks. Uh, Jarrah, you remember, uh, you're a Game of Thrones fan. Uh, yeah. So you remember Jason Momoa. As uh, Khal Drogo? Hell yeah, I do. Correct. I actually know that name even. That's how important he was, apparently. No, now, he was in the show for one season. Now, Zach, did you... Well, that's how uh, cool he well, was then. That's actually <laughs> a great segue. So the issue was... He was in there for one season. Yeah, and it didn't start before to... Before the money started It didn't start in. to blow up to, like, season two or three, yeah. So, apparently... He was in the first season? Yep. So... Really? Yeah. That's insane, because I've heard his name so many times, like, after the show, even. That's how he got so famous. That's so, awesome. No, false. Really? That was not how he got so famous. He did Game of Thrones season yeah. one. You're wrong. Well, <laughs> I'll take that on the chain. And then he couldn't get any work. Really? Like, he couldn't get any work for... Let's go ahead and say five years Oof. before he got cast as Aquaman. Aquaman yeah. yeah. Jeez. So for five years after Game of Thrones, he's like, I just had a bunch of kids. And by a bunch, he had two kids. That's a bunch. That's a lot. Yeah, that's that's, a big that's an aggressive amount. <laughs> so he couldn't feed the kids or he could feed the kids, uh, but they were cutting it way closer than you would expect of somebody that was on Game of Thrones. Yeah. And it was just, holy smokes, five years of that. Oh, and then you're Aquaman. You never have to work again in your life. <laughs> yeah. Yet. Good news, the wait was worth it. That's crazy, I'm dude. sure. I mean, he got his he got the first movie, and now he's getting the sequel. He was in Justice League. He's in commercials. He's in the Snyder Cut. Dude's everywhere. But, like, so how they casted Jason Momoa for Khal Drogo is these books were already out mm -hmm. and they went on a fan website to see like who the fans would want Cass as him and they picked jason momoa because he's this jacked tan dude and they're like you well, know what what did he do before that i don't know he was like because, a no because actor. i'm actually curious because a lot of people have become you know more famous yeah like it, it, they were in smaller roles but now they're more famous you know aside from like what uh sean sean bean was in there for one season, yeah. Yeah. So aside from him, yeah, Sean Bean. Everyone else was a small was a small yeah time actor. And the guy who played um <clears throat> the guy who played King Robert in season one was also like a name, not like mm -hmm. a huge name, but he had he was like well a more notable yeah, person. Me? He was a huge name. Who? His. Oh Stu, I didn't I, hear what I, you said. I can't remember it. Uh, what was his all name? right? Maybe it wasn't a huge name. What was his name? No, he was on that sitcom right, cool. though. He was such a good. He was so good though. Yeah, I, I think I know what you're talking about. I didn't. Ah. I didn't hear the name. We don't know his name. <laughs> Nobody knows his name. Oh, I thought you said his name. No, King okay. Robert. That's the. That's a character. Yeah, that's yeah, his character. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, like you have people who are like mega stars right now because of Game of Thrones. Like yeah. uh, Amelia Clark, who played yeah. Daenerys Targaryen. She was in like the. She was in the Han Solo movie. She's super famous. Wait, was she the? Was she, was, she the lead girl? Yeah. 
Oh my god. I didn't even recognize her. I did her. not even recognize her. Isn't that crazy? Well, she's not. Well, I, I don't know if she is blonde. I don't think she's actually blonde. Probably not. But, yeah. I mean, that looks like a wig. She looks like Elsa from Frozen in that yeah. show. So. All right. So that's. I'm not done talking about Game of Thrones. Also, <laughs> you have um, uh, 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 the girl who plays Sansa. I can't remember her name. Uh-huh. Why can't I remember her name? Stu? Well, oh, you, I... you know what happened? <laughs> the, you know what actually... The, the chick who plays Sansa? <laughs> Sophie Turner. Stu. Sophie Turner, Tom. She's Stu. in... What? You know what happened to Jason Momoa, right? He started uh, doing social justice. Well, they tried to hit him with the cancel culture stuff. They actually did. Oh, wow. They tried to. Because... There's like a video of him getting super emotional during one of his movie premieres, during Aquaman's movie premiere, and they said he was touching his daughter inappropriately. Oh God! Yeah, his own his own daughter. Tom right. Brady can kiss his son on the lips. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh and my he's gosh, hugging like... his children, and they say, "Oh, he's doing it inappropriately." Can we Come almost on, like man. take a step back from like all that like BS and like, holy smokes, that's so annoying to it's me. Just, though, like... There's a there's a there's there are parts where it's come in handy, and there are parts where it's worked out, and then there's parts where it's just ruined people's lives. Johnny Depp is getting, uh, he got fired from the Fantastic Beasts or whatever movie. I didn't see it because I don't watch Harry Potter stuff, mm-hmm. but he was a character in those movies, and they fired him because of stuff that had happened two years ago that had been proven to be false. Oh, wow. Yeah, and he just got fired from it. It's, it's actually it's, very it's, true. It's a tough world out uh, there. So he actually filmed one scene and collected his, I believe it was a seven-figure sum. Of course. I mean, he's, he's Johnny, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, yeah. I, hey, you know what? You know what? If they decide to cancel you and they're still going to pay you over a million dollars. And it's not going to last forever because you're Johnny Depp. Yeah. Well, and he was in the right. Yeah. The truth is on your side, and it always shows its beautiful face. You ever yeah. see the picture of Johnny Depp and uh, Marilyn Manson smoking weed together? Yeah, I have. <laughs> it's so funny. I have not. Because they both look like middle-aged dads, like, in the picture. <laughs> and they're just standing, like, out by the bushes, and Marilyn Manson has, like, a fucking, uh, like, a pipe in his hand, and they're both just standing there, like, looking at the person taking the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Like they got caught. <laughs> you always knew Johnny Depp was an interesting character. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But before we get off track, I still want to talk like Game of Thrones actors. It makes people like it made <laughs> it, like it made Jason Momoa, but dude, like Kit Harrington, the guy who played Jon Snow, uh-huh. had to go into like rehab because like the toll of playing Jon Snow really? had like weighed so heavily on him. Yeah. He was like the. He was like the main guy character who went yeah. to the end of the show, right? Yeah, he was first. See, I know a little bit about it. It's not too much. So rare to last from see, or from episode one to the last episode. That is a rarity in well, Game see, of Thrones. Well, see, in a show so like Game of Thrones, in a he show was like, okay. He wasn't even in a full talking season. About limping along, <laughs> dragging along. Uh. In a show like Game <laughs> of Thrones, that's a that's a big deal. But when you're lo- talking about something like The Walking Dead, where it's like, oh yeah, these are our main characters. Yeah, it's like. Obviously, we know who you're not going to kill off. That's what's great about Game of Thrones. Exactly. Any, anybody could die at any given second. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that was a good show. All right. Well, that was actually the uh, what was it? The DC portion of Stu's news. <laughs> so now we're on to the MC you. version of Stu's news. MCU. I'm sorry, are you doing Stu's News now? Well, I'm Zach? just telling you. Is I'm just telling you. It's Z News. It's DC Get out of here. And MC. This is uh, now Marvel News. And uh, Jarrett. Yep. Don't, don't even involve him. Okay. <laughs> WandaVision. Have you heard of it? I have. All right. So it's, uh, have you heard of its significance? No. All right. So big news. Uh, WandaVision. It's going to tie directly in to Doctor Strange 2. And it's the key for the MC's future. Awesome. Because those are two awesome characters to have be the key for the next Well, Spider-Man's supposed to be in the next Doctor Strange, apparently. And Doctor Strange is supposed to be in the next Spider-Man. Did you guys see 
that for the new Spider-Man movie, I'm so excited, they're bringing dude. Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, I'm and they're so doing excited. a Marvel Spider-Man. Uh, the Spider-Verse. little Spider-Verse. In the, oh, it's so cool. Oh, <laughs> That's so, so cool. So I heard rumors of that. I, th- I think they were confirmed. It's confirmed that uh, Andrew when was this and confirmed? Tobey Maguire have been contacted by Marvel to work with them on the movie. Now, was this confirmed uh, before I started Sue's News? Yes. Because I like to think that I have uh, my ear to the ground. Yes, I haven't heard about this. Well, yeah, I don't think you've gotten to that part of the story yet. It might be in there. No, it's not. Okay, so. well, then... No, it's that they were rumored to be involved. Oh, like there's well, a good chance. The, well, the the Doctor Strange two has confirmed that uh, uh, Scarlet Witch will be in it, and then for Spider Man three, it's confirmed that Doctor Strange will be part of it, and um, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire have both been contracted to work on the movie as well. Which and, makes an aggressive amount of sense if you ever watch the multiverse. Great movie. I enjoyed it myself. The Spider Verse one? Yeah. Oh yeah. my god, it's so good. Yeah, it's fun. It's, it's fun for such the whole a good family. Movie. And I like the idea that hopefully they give us some sort of Miles Morales in there as well. Yeah, Miles Morales is Everybody technically in the Chris. MCU, right? Because remember when technically Donald. Technically, because Sony, Sony makes the Spider Man movies, but Marvel produces them or whatever. Well, no, like Donald Glover, you know how he was in. Yeah, Spider Man. He, he was my. He was he's, uh, he's the. Morales, he's, he's the no, no, he's the Prowler. Yeah. And if you remember from the Spider Verse movie, the Prowler, is, the Prowler his is his uncle. So yeah. he's like, I got a nephew in this, uh, in this, in this neighborhood. So I want to mm-hmm. keep it safe. I don't remember any of that. So, well, that was in the first one. The yeah. First Spider Man Homecoming. So that's that guy was the Prowler. So mm-hmm. he has a, a nephew who lives in the you know. I like that Star idea, Morales. and I like the. Uh, I like the move to bring Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield back for one more movie. Yeah. I especially feel like Andrew Garfield got a run to the deal because I liked the first Amazing Spider-Man movie. I thought the second one was pretty bad. Um, Are you talking to Tobey Maguire? I haven't seen either of them. No, the first one was good. The Tobey Maguire movies, up to three, three was trash. The first two, amazing movies. Probably two of the best comic book movies of all time. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, I thought was a really solid movie. I thought it had, I thought Andrew Garfield was a good Spider-Man. I didn't think he was a great Peter Parker because Peter Parker is supposed to be like a nerd, a, dir- a dork, a dork. and he's riding around I, on a skateboard and stuff. I, I like, said dorky. He was on, way man. too confident. Right. I will give you that. But overall, I thought those were solid. I thought the first one was a solid movie. The second one was weird and went in different directions and like had too many villains. Well, like the third one. Speaking of uh, different directions, so the MCU is actually like, with the multiverse, having a dalliance with the fantastical, if you will. Mm -hmm. Uh, So they're coming out with a couple of new projects called uh, Shang-Chi, The Eternals, and Moon Knight. Moon Knight looks really fun. Well, they need they. I think they're realizing now that they need to like bring in some new blood into the MCU. Well, so they got lucky by Fox having to sell basically the entirety of Fox mm-hmm. to them. Um, so they got all of their X Men back. Yeah. So they get to bring in the X Men, which I think WandaVision might give us the first glimpse at a new Quicksilver, which I'm excited for. Well, they um they were ta- so is this Wandavision? Is this like a prequel? Because didn't like so Vision Wanda- get his head pop like a zit? Wandavision is, uh, the Scarlet Witch. It, so what it's supposed to be is the Scarlet Witch not being able to deal with the loss of Vision. Oh, grow up, right? But <laughs> so we get a we get a what's going to be probably a great TV show out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but. It's basically her not being able to deal with the loss of vision. Oh, so it's like literally and creating a this world, and the idea is that it'll expand into a multiverse type of deal. Mm. So when Doctor Strange and the multiverse comes out, they're going to connect. See, I was never a big fan of Wanda. <clears throat> never was. 
I don't think she's that great, but she's extremely overpowered as far oh, as like, I know. comic books and movies go. It was so fun. Like, so I wasn't a big fan of her. So when Thanos uh-huh. dogged her, it was so funny. He's like, you took everything from me. He's like, I don't even know who you are. Well, he dogged her, and then she's like, <laughs> boom. And he's yeah. like, all right, all right, fire everything, man. Yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, she was real helpful. I don't understand how, like her accent changes every single movie. It's like, do you have a Russian accent or don't you? I don't right. get it. Well, so she did and then she just didn't. Yeah. That always bugged Because they the were supposed to be from Sokovia, but really, for some reason, those two, I don't understand how they ended up in the MCU when they're actually Magneto's kids from the X-Men. They just changed it. They should be a Fox property, but they're not somehow. I don't know. Uh, see, I don't. I don't focus on the legal battles. You know, I just watch the movies. Well, but it bothers me from a standpoint of these are supposed to be Magneto's kids, and they're just somehow not related to the main villain from the X Men. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe God, maybe so the cool. he was overpowered though. It. Who Quicksilver? He's just fast. Aggressively too fast. He not in the kill. Avengers movies, though, because he not, died in the first no, movie. Not yeah. the Avenger movies, he got, but in the he, mutant he, movies. He, he, he lost could have the killed guy. Magneto, yeah. Xavier, like all of them. He was awesome. He yeah. was like so quick that the it didn't best, even matter. The best parts of those movies come from his scenes, though. I Those are really cool scenes, but he was way too powerful. Like in... Uh, Next to Magneto In Days of Future Xavier. Past, when they, when they do the slow motion scene, the first slow motion scene they do... And they're breaking Magneto out of jail, and he runs around. He redirects all the bullets around everybody, and he yeah, flips that's people's what I'm hats over like, and stuff. Like oh, dude, it's so too funny. powerful. It's it's not a real thing. Someone did the science for all that, and they said if he went around and did all that, all of those people who were in that room, except for uh, Xavier, Magneto, and Wolverine, would be dead because of all the force that he would have put into those people just by touching them slightly. That's Whoa. actually very fair. Yeah. Because he was moving so fast that time was slowed down. Yeah. So, like, even just slightly touching someone would be, like, a bullet to their face. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so. Wait, wait. How about Deadpool in the MCU? Am I the only person who really wants to see that? I'm excited for it. I think... He's already there. He's hanging out with, uh, what's her face and, uh, Colossus. Negasonic Teenage Warhead? We'll talk about the MCU. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm hopeful. You're not part of the X Men. The X Men aren't in the MCU. So, so what? here's the thing. No. Here's the thing. Not uh, yet. The, I thought they were brought out. The no. X Force movie is still supposed to happen, which means Deadpool, Cable, and uh, Domino are supposed to be in it, which is great because those are three characters that I really enjoyed, especially from Deadpool two. Mm-hmm. But, um, as far as like the more mature type of shows and movies that they're going to put out, most of those are still scheduled for Hulu. Hulu has a... Because Hulu is owned by Disney now. Mm. Uh, and they were owned by Fox originally. Yeah. So they, they're they planning on putting a Ghost Rider show onto Hulu, apparently. But, I mean, we'll I see didn't like the movie with... <clears throat> that wasn't uh, owned by... That wasn't owned by Marvel, though. That was owned by Fox. Wasn't I? I didn't care for it. Uh, the first one was all right. The second one was kind of weird. So, gentlemen, over the weekend, whether through happenstance, accident, what? or blind luck, do you not know what happenstance means? No. Stay tuned. Okay. You'll figure it out. I'm sure. <laughs> Deductive reasoning. Okay. <laughs> help us help you. <laughs> yep. Four seasons total landscaping. Located in industrial complex off of I-95, became the site of an official press conference for Rudy Giuliani, <laughs> the personal attorney to Donald Trump. <laughs> now, we've all heard of this story, correct? Yeah. We've heard this. Like, what are you doing? You, you guys having fun? At a landscaping <laughs> uh, company. Somebody mess up? <laughs> Somebody get fired over this? <laughs> Somebody's in big trouble? Alright, so in a series of tweets Saturday, uh, our current president, Donald Trump, announced a lawyer's press conference. However, one of those tweets was deleted as it did not include the total landscaping information. 
which would have sent reporters and supporters alike to the wrong location, roughly 11 miles away <laughs> the Four Seasons Hotel. I think Rudy Giuliani is done doing anything at hotels. <laughs> now, this isn't my story. That is the context. Mm-hmm. I don't care about that. That is just dumb, 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 dumb. Now, the thing that impresses me is four seasons total landscaping. Mm-hmm. One not to miss a mark, they said in a weekend statement that they would proudly host any presidential candidate and announced that merchandise would be sold on their website and going live on Monday. <laughs> They're making the best of a bad situation. It's not a bad situation for them. They were handed, they were handed a gold mine. They get free publicity. So yeah. they don't even have a home page for their like regular website. Their home page is selling merchandise <laughs> nice. at this point. And buckle up because they're selling Make America Rake again. <laughs> <laughs> and they're also doing Lawn and Order. <laughs> I, Those are bro. Cool. And you know what? So great. I love them for doing that because why not? They need to sell out. It's the uh, holy cow! That's awesome. I didn't know about that. Bless their hearts. That is awesome. So good. Lawn and order. Lawn and order. <laughs> Make America rake. Oh my god. Yeah that that was a uh, a, a fun story. I was I was happy for the company. That's so good. Now uh, for this next story, I want to have uh, Zach take over. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, it's something awful. Yeah. Duh. It's awful. <laughs> yeah, duh. <laughs> okay. Come on. No, you're gonna Oh my Shh. god. This is All why right. you gave me Jameson before we started, huh? You do what you're told. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so starting with the stuff the the top line. This is Zach's news now. Keeping a straight face. I'm Go ahead. I'm so mad at you. I'm so mad Go at you. Go get him. A helicopter transporting a donor to the Keck Hospital. Oh, Excuse me. Hold on. I saw you, this. You gotta you gotta take your time on it. Oh wow. Take your time. A helicopter transporting a donor heart to the Keck Hospital at the University of mm-hmm. Southern Florida crashed on landing at the helipad over the weekend. <laughs> Jared's laughing. <laughs> Breathe. Go ahead. Come Breathe. on. It's news. Continue. Uh, the private shopper was carrying the organ for a transplant patient and caused quite a bit of chaos, as you can imagine. <laughs> Keep going. The pilot was treated for minor injuries, and the other two passengers were cleared on the scene. The hectic afternoon did not stop there, however. Once the crash was handled, <laughs> those on board were evacuated. The focus shifted to saving the entire reason for the trip. The firefighters had to use the draws of life to pull out the heart and were ultimately successful. However, the firefighter handed it over to a doctor for its return to the hospital. Please continue. And he immediately lost his footing. (laughs) Right foot catches an edge and causes him to hit the ground and he fumbles the heart. Okay, you need to understand. I saw the video. It's literally just a heart. <laughs> it's not in a case. It's not in anything. Ooh. This doctor is holding a heart. He slips, <laughs> falls, and drops the heart on the floor. <laughs> Let's save those stories for Zach's news. What is he, a Jets <laughs> running back? <laughs> oh, my uh, God. I don't know any Jets running backs anymore. Not that they traded Levy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who is the Jets running back? I don't even know. Uh, besides that, uh, that holy was, crap! That was a that was a good story, Zach. If, uh, if we can get hey that, man, I kept it together. You are if, the one that holds that together. If we can get the video and post it here, it is hilarious. <laughs> like, I imagine. Have, wait, 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 I wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on, I have to know. Was the heart transplant successful? I don't know. I hope because so. Yes, it was. Okay, it was. That's, been, that's the contingency on this being a funny story or not. Maybe. Imagine that, dude. Because if everyone's fine and all of this happened, it's hilarious. Watch. <laughs> Here's the story. 
It's on the screen. Just taking the walk. Oh, the heart! <laughs> oh, why oh isn't it God. in a why isn't it in a case? I don't understand why they're holding this this heart like a like an egg. Why like, did a paper towel like, <laughs> on a paper towel? Why did you only carpet half of the ramp? <laughs> it's not even carpeted. He stepped on a piece of ice or something from the crash. Oh, there's clearly something there. Yeah, it's like a piece uh, of ice or something. Uh, it's a banana peel. It's, <laughs> it's a banana it's, it's, peel. Somebody who appreciates someone, comedy. Someone so. Mario carted right <laughs> by and threw a banana peel on there. Somebody who appreciates comedy put that there in Jesus, case of man. a perfect scenario and they got it. So the helicopter carrying donor heart crashes and the firefighters find the heart. Give it to the doctor who immediately fumbles it. I like how the headline Shut says... It down. Give it to the doctor who immediately fumbles the bag. <laughs> fumbles the bag. <laughs> it wasn't in a bag. It wasn't in a case. Ah. He had it in his hands. So yeah. fumbling the bag literally means <laughs> literally means fumbling. I wonder the how bag. slippery a heart is. <laughs> so is it like soap in the shower? Like, <laughs> like it's just hard to hang on to. Depends he on. had it in a paper towel, and he's Dude. walking like like with his hands cupped. I am putting myself in the scenario of the guy who just had surgery, open heart <laughs> heart replacement surgery. And then you see the news article. Yeah, you wake up, you're like, what the hell were they doing? I almost died. It sounds like uh, uh, what was that? A uh, rat race when they find the heart, <laughs> and he has to drum. <laughs> It's like a dog gets it. He's like, no, like, give it yeah. to me. Somebody needs this. It's man. like, bro. They finally get it to the person. They're like, yeah, I guess this still works. Yeah, this, this dude oh. wakes up from surgery and sees that the heart that is now in his chest, giving him life, was fumbled around like a hot potato by drunk <laughs> doctors on a rooftop. But are you? But did you die? No, but it's crazy how he didn't. I don't know if that dude should be mad or just feel lucky that the heart didn't get destroyed. That in is the, the luckiest in the helicopter. That is crash. the luckiest strike of luck that has ever happened in the history of the world. I feel like. You guys see that South Park episode where Kenny uh, gets his heart replaced by a potato and then blows up? No, no. That's where that reminds me. I think of. you're making it up. All right, find the clip. <laughs> Drop the clip. So in our next news news, Little Nas X. Yeah. Are we yeah. familiar? Yes, sir. Are we familiar with uh, Michael Horses J. Fox? in the back. Yeah. Yeah. He also did country stuff in that third Back to the Future movie where he played a cowboy. I guess technically he did do country stuff in that movie. Yes. I'm not happy that I am agreeing with you on that. Now. It's a fact. Those two have collaborated. Nice. For the Christmas single of the year. Look out, Mariah Carey. I'm so Carey. excited for the song. I wore this hoodie just for that. I'm so excited for the song. With the cameo from Michael J. Fox, the new Little Nas X feels like a mashup between the Santa Claus, Back to the Future, and that Doritos commercial that Little Nas X did with, <laughs> with Sam, Sam Elliott. Elliott. Hilarious. Yeah. Do you think we could get uh, Little Nas X on the show? I was going to say Sam Elliott, but he wouldn't do it. We're not going to be able to get any of that. Let's compromise and get Missy Elliott. We have to at least reach That's double. That's even too high. Oh. No, we have to get double digits on viewers. So now, Little Nas X Ouch. is ready to drop. <laughs> that, that yeah, I'm just saying. Before Little Nas X looks at us. Yeah, you know hey what? man. He what? wants to at least see a ton. Let's to pretend fair. like Zach's a make-a-wish kid or something. We had know. at least 12 listens on our last show. Nice. On, 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 on streaming platforms. Uh, and we had over eight views on YouTube. All right. Follow us on and YouTube like and Instagram and all 20 that. 20-something on Facebook. Let's so, make our pitch. So, so if we combine them all into one, that's, that's what, like 5,000? <laughs> now, Lil Nas X is ready to drop a Christmas anthem. I'm so ready for this. Song. And it feels like this guy is poised for another 10 weeks at the top. I, I would yeah. not be surprised. Well, he's working on an album, too. He's working on an album. He's oh. got two singles that are going to come out this Friday. The world needs a Christmas anthem. This, now more than ever. I'm this excited song, about Holiday, I don't know if you've seen the actual trailer for it. Yeah. Holy crap. It I just, it feels like it's going to be a banger. I mean, he's not he's not failed on dropping bangers before. Well, um, 
looks like it's going to be a sequel to the Old Town Road music video. It feels like it might be, but I don't know if you saw it. What happens is Santa Claus gets thrown out of a bar. When Santa hits the ground, the old uh, Santa Claus, Tim Allen movie, kind of rules come to, come into play. Mm-hmm. Little Nas X picks up the hat and it says, you're Santa now. And it says Santa Nas X. He puts the hat on, and his horse turns into a reindeer, and a sleigh appears before him. And he, like, rides into, like, a, a wormhole. Is, he rides it into a Back to the Future wormhole. Yeah. And, and then Michael, and then Marty McFly himself, for some reason, is in the He's in the West. Wild West. And he's like, just don't go to 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Good warning, Marty McFly. Yeah, hey, Michael, how good did, Michael J. Fox looked really good, didn't he? No, he does. For a guy with... Parkinson's, Parkinson's, yeah. Yeah, he looks very good, actually. And he's had Parkinson's for, like, a very long time time now. Yep. He's he's managing very well with... Good for uh, him. Oh, he's leading the charge on, like, building research. That's true, yeah. Good. Trying to cure it. Good. So, good for him. And Mm -hmm. good for all parties involved, because... What we all need right now... Song's gonna slap. a fresh... Christmas banger. Oh, I thought you were going to say to bring us all together. Parkinson's. <laughs> the song no, is the cure no, for we Parkinson's. clearly need a fresh Christmas banger. Zach, obviously, read the room. Come obviously, on. Lil Nas X has the cure for Parkinson's. Right. In his well, music. maybe. Um, so moving forward, on to the next Stu's News headline. Alex Trebek. Oh, come on. We right. love him here. Right. Right. We love this games. We love games here at the Hooli House. What? This is the toolbox. <laughs> this is the toolbox. At the Hooli House toolbox. <laughs> oh um, God. I, I, yeah, we're drinking Jameson, so it goes into line. You want to? You want to do that one again? I can cut it out if you want. No, let's ride it. <laughs> okay. All right. Here, sure, so. here at, he's he's uh, full sending it right now. The Hooli House looks different. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's where like, are my hunks? <laughs> where are my chicken hunks? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly not my fault. Let me check in the back. Where's my tr- Where's my Hershey I'm bar quesadilla? Beer, I'm just a bartender. You got your drinks, right? <laughs> I want my Hershey bar quesadilla, and I'm not taking no for an answer. I want my hunks. I want my quesadilla. Let's go, gentlemen. Yes, you're doing a great job during Alex Trebek's segment. Hey, man, we're bringing up Hooli House stuff. Yeah, you sure are. And it's the one segment we're doing about Alex Trebek. So it's keep it going. All right, well, tough guys. You said Hooli House for us. Yeah, don't don't make don't turn this on. No, this is all on you guys. Okay. Uh, so, friend of the show, Alex Trebek, gentleman, enjoyed luxury, enjoyed leisure, enjoyed the finer things, enjoyed knowledge, Mm. all things I enjoy myself. You're comparing yourself to Alex Trebek. Yeah, because I'm going for his job. Oh, okay. It's open. Oh, Somebody's God. gotta step up. Okay, Steve. He literally just passed away two days ago. I know. This is so terrible. Is this in poor taste? Is, this oh, is look, extremely poor taste. Yeah. This isn't in the air until Monday. People are already saying they, they're Ken Jennings stepped up. Alright, yeah, Ooh. I'm gonna like not say anything Ken and like Jennings, get, the best Jeopardy player ever. Yeah, and I'll get left in the oh. smoke. Yeah. Yeah. He follows me on Twitter. There's also the CNN guy. I know, weird, line. right? What? No, he doesn't. I'm pretty sure he does, yeah. Like the guy who made like a... He's from Ohio, isn't one he? One-year run on Jeopardy? He's from Ohio, isn't he? He had like the... He, he got like a shit ton of money off Jeopardy and stuff? That's He follows you on Twitter? I'm pretty sure, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. He has a picture of him and Alex Trebek in his profile picture, I'm pretty sure. Wow. That was pretty neat. So, um... The the real like the reason I brought this up, other than the fact that I want that job, is uh, that apparently he actually went out exactly as he said he wanted to. How's that? Surrounded by his wife sitting in the swing next to him and watching the sunrise come up. Oh, I heard about that. That's really that's adorable. Yeah, like he like literally. This is years before he said how he wanted to go out. And he did exactly that. So, hey man, cheers good for him. to that like legend. Because he, of he a went guy. literally up until like the last week or two of his life doing Jeopardy. Yeah, like he has like 
months worth of episodes. He was like, he was like, oh yeah, matter, I'm gonna take yeah. a week off recording because I need to deal with this. And then he ended up passing away like a week and a half later. Mm-hmm. So I mean, really, he went up until the day he was gonna pass. Yeah, recording these episodes, he was dedicated to his craft, and he even like he even. His non-regional diction, forget about it. What? When you practice your non-regional diction. What does that even mean? Jarrett. You know what? I guess it doesn't matter for... Zach, do you understand what I'm saying? I think so. Alright, so when we're doing something like what we're doing right now, and we're reading news, and we're talking about a story about from somewhere other than right here. So let's say the story is from South America. And I have to so you're saying say he something. has a very and I have to say good knowledge of things outside of his sphere. And I have to say something in Spanish. Mm. Now that gentleman has mastered how to say what he has to say in Spanish I mean, in did, order to make it correct. He did the show for his what? non-regional diction. 40 uh, years? He started in... The dude was a master. Almost 40 years because it was in 87, I think, Jeopardy premiered. Yeah. So it was it was one of like one of his dying wishes was to have all the shows that he had recorded to still be aired. Mm-hmm. So you'll get to see Alex. Trebek. They're all on Netflix. I'm pretty sure. So you get, you'll get to see Alex Trebek hosting Jeopardy like on television for like another few months, which is mm-hmm. pretty cool. I mean, yeah, and sad, but we're celebrating his life. Job opening. And I'll be celebrating his life the most if I get the job. Mm. Champagne and caviar. Good luck. Straight to the top. Fair enough. All right, so this story... (laughs) All right, so I've got a couple after this, but this is one story I have to get to. Okay. We now have a... All right, so the, the president has a vice president. Yes. Yes, everyone does. Okay, so the president has a first lady. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unless, Assuming it's a man. Th- yeah, thank, thank you. You're welcome, <laughs> Jared. And thank you for pointing that out. Mm. Zach, you fucking pig. <laughs> I was just sitting here listening to the story. I didn't want to interrupt. Mm. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, no, How dare you? Zach had nothing to say is the issue. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't want to jump ahead. I already heard part of the story. All right. So, our new... All right. So, it's not the first lady. It's the second man Mm -hmm. that we're going to be celebrating here tonight. Second man. Correct. It's like a mistress? Like a a gay mistress? No. 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 Fun fact. So, with the new rules of... With the new rules of letting uh, men and women into the presidency and vice presidency. The new rules. Oh. So now that um, that's happening, guess who has a first man? The vice president. I think voting for women has been a thing since women could vote. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about I'm actually saying- like allowing it to happen. So, wait, so is um, God damn it, <laughs> Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris? No, so wait, is oh. is the first? So historically speaking, is the vice president's wife called the second lady? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that because he's technically the second man oh, well, in see, charge. See, I did not know exactly. that. Exactly, I did not know that. I know, isn't it, it fun? It's, it's weird, but yeah, we're in uncharted territory, and that's why I'm having so much fun with it. So it's the first man, second man. It's no, no, like, second let's man. say it was a president, it'd be the first man, yeah. like the yeah. first gentleman. Did you not watch yeah. that Seth Rogen movie with Charlize Theron? Just like, no. just like how it's the first it's lady, it's actually it would pretty be good. I'm sure the first man or the first gentleman. It feel right. like it'd be gentleman, right? Could be. All right, everybody shush up. Shushing up. America, let's welcome our first second husband, Douglas Emhoff. They don't call it the second wife, though. Well, this is the, we got to They they do. They do. That's the technically what you call them. They'll come up really? with something snappy, I think. Correct. Like a name that rolls off the tongue. This a is better. a wonderful first for us, though. Sure. Or second. Shh. We finally have a man in a position to reap all of the benefits 
of his wife's accomplishments <laughs> yeah. without having to do anything. <laughs> and if that's not the American dream... Yeah, it's like being the backup to goalie. Be, <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, to the the previous first la- first and second ladies, I don't know... Well, I know Milani was a successful model. I don't know anything about Pence's wife. I know that... What about the body double for Melania? What do you think she's done? <laughs> I'm not talking about that. That's not what's <laughs> news today. It's model work, mostly. Yeah. Joe Biden's wife is a doctor. Jill Biden? Dr. Yeah. Jill Biden. Very, very and successful woman. Obama's wife has written multiple books. I think Michelle Obama's... Michelle Obama has written <sighs> multiple books. She's a national treasure. She's a great lady. She's very nice. Um, met her, yeah. She, you've met her? Yeah, I had a couple conversations, yeah. Nice. Very Great. Nice, very nice. Get her on the toolbox. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll try. <laughs> Maybe. But basically, to be fair, I feel like first ladies do a lot, actually. Um, if you go back to, I think it was Roosevelt, his wife started the Red Cross, actually. Well, most of most first ladies will pick like an issue and then mm-hmm. make that their issue. Yeah. So like I I'm a younger man, so I can only remember like back to Michelle Obama. She did like childhood obesity. Exactly. Didn't, That's didn't what I was necessarily say work. <laughs> but she, oh my God. she ruined school lunch for so many kids in America. And you know what though, lunch wasn't fun anymore. I really didn't notice that much of a difference. Yeah. Oh, I did. Like the the chocolate milks were terrible. Like you were no more yeah. like Bosco right. sticks. Let me let me let me get to Bosco the heart sticks. of this. I remember those. And then Melania did cyberbullying, which was whatever. What happened? No, nothing. Nothing. Yeah, your let, your husband's the biggest cyberbully in the world. Let me get to the heart of this gentleman that we can all respect now. Go ahead. So this dude is already a successful entertainment lawyer. He was uh, a very quiet but supportive presence on did the campaign help? trail. Did he help in the OJ case? With Harris. Oh. Running for uh, the president of the Democratic Party. No. Sure. Stop it. No. Well, I just assume... That bring up the OJ case. Right? That, <laughs> that was the first if, time if I've ever brought it up. If you're trying to, like, disrail to, uh, Stu's news, Actually, you're doing a great I brought job. it up last time we talked about the Kardashians, too. So that's fair. I'm not talking about you and your OJ. OJ, uh, you. Wait. Harris and... I don't know if... Uh, they actually Alleged. met. Alleged OJ. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna put a, a, a timer here. <laughs> On 7.30 to time at. Pause. Okay. Pause for the cause. The time doesn't pause. show up, Stu. The time doesn't show up. On 7.33 When I'm editing the show, it does not show up at 7.31 p.m. It times. 7.33 p.m. It does not show up. Jared, will you hit the button? There's no button. Jared, hit the button. Yeah. I'm going to beat you both to death. Oh, you can try. Like O.J. Yeah, OJ didn't beat try. them to death, all right? So I'm going to stab you. So when you say you're going to OJ You Zach, and your Jewish lawyer. Are you going to He was a he wasn't a lawyer. He was a he was a he was a uh 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 waiter. Agent? Waiter, waiter. Waiter. Yeah. You and your Jewish <laughs> waiter. Are you going to stab him repeatedly in the stomach or are you going to slice his throat to the bone? When One you, and when, the when other. You, when you OJ Zach or both. Are you asking me? Yeah. How am I going to do it? Yeah, he said I'm going to OJ you. Like which which OJ killer are you going to do? I'm alleged. Gonna, uh, alleged. All right, so sure. I'm allegedly going to put on some gloves that don't fit and just choke the shit out of them. Wear so some we, really so fancy shoes. <laughs> in, like, I want to I wanna make sure it happens. Like, I want to be there, you know? Yeah. Continue your story. If story. that was, like, oh, mm-hmm. hypothetical. If you were allegedly going to kill me. Hypothetical. If I did it. But, this is how I would do it. Yeah. No, I would I kill him and then write a book about it if I did it. But I didn't the, do dude, it. The, the, I didn't do the it. name of his book was the If I Did It. If I had done it, better. this is how I would have done it. I actually have like two other stories, but I don't even know if we're going to get there. Can we talk about Big Time Rush? Uh, 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 uh. What is that? It's a show on Nickelodeon. Hello. It was a show on Nickelodeon. It was a show on Nickelodeon. Okay. Help me out. Okay. All right. So okay. it came out between the time of Drake and Josh and iCarly. Yep. Basically. Uh, it starred. It was basically the Wait, actually, One Direction I, on Nickelodeon. I don't. I think it. No, it was the. It was at the exact same time as iCarly because Miranda Cosgrove makes an appearance and she is grown as hell. Actually, yeah, because they're on an episode of iCarly too. They do a guest appearance on the show. So 
this was like the golden era of Nickelodeon, right? Mm-hmm. You, for all their like preteen shows, you had iCarly, massive. You had Victorious, which was out roughly the same time, mm-hmm. huge. And then you had Big Time Rush. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Big Time Rush was like the lesser of the three, mm-hmm. but it was the little brother. Yeah. But it it got it got the attention of a lot of people still because it's it, mostly girls. Because it's a show about a boy band, and it, yeah, and they're all very attractive gentlemen. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna. They're all handsome boys. I'm not gonna hide it. They're all very good looking. But I was watching, how good looking. like very good looking. They're, 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 how good looking? Most of them are still popular to this day, and a lot of the people who watch the show, a lot of the girls who watch the show, still follow them on all major social medias. Yeah, like that. How good looking they were. So, so I was watching Drake and Josh on Hulu. Obviously, Drake and Josh is a great show. Mm-hmm. We can all you're, agree on that. You're going back and watching. Hey, Drake. Drake and Josh. Where's the door? <laughs> Dude, that was that one was on. Like, it was such that a was good episode. I watched, bro. Such a good episode. It's like, Megan, get me an ice con. Cone, where's the door? Well, it's, it's, it's right here. It's right here. And then he walks into the wall. Oh, I see. <laughs> Well, I drew it with the magic marker. <laughs> <laughs> so I was watching Drake and Josh on Hulu, and I fell asleep. And then it was the last season that I was watching, and then once the show ends on Hulu, it like kicks on a random show. So it kicked on Big Time Rush. Mm-hmm. And I haven't watched Big Time Rush since like 2008. So I was like, oh, dude, I am so down to watch some Big Time Rush. So I've been watching it, and I am strangely invested in this show. See, like with all like the little love mm-hmm. triangles and everything. I'm like, oh damn, dude, this, this is good. Big Time Rush. I have never heard of it. So here's the thing about Big Time Rush that I didn't get into it because it was towards the end of the like what Nickelodeon had for me. Yeah. Regrets. It started towards the end of iCarly. And I was invested in iCarly. I love that show. Yeah. When Big Time Rush came out, I was like this is a show about a boy band. Why would I be interested in it? What did he search? It was the wrong thing to look up. What did he search? Oh, come on, man. It was an accident. Come on, man. It what did, what did he search? It was an accident. Look, he accidentally pushed a different letter when he was typing big time rush. What do you think it could be? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Look. So, Big Time Rush Sorry. came out towards the end of the iCarly era. Thanks, Google. And iCarly <laughs> was shortly after Drake and Josh had finally ended. Mm-hmm. Um, shortly after the Big Shrimp movie. Right. Which was fantastic. Nobody knows what you're talking about. Jared knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, Big Time Rush came out shortly towards the end of iCarly. Around, I think, the second to last season it started airing. And it was a show about a boy band and their manager and their younger one of their younger sisters who basically is the Megan of the group. Yeah, but she's not evil. Yeah. She's not evil, but she There's only basically one makes she, problems for them. She's in it for herself. Uh-huh. Um but the manager is like super fun and like crazy and like the whole show is like wild. It almost feels like if Zack and Cody were in a boy band. Like I find my I found myself <laughs> laughing a great deal watching that show. Mm-hmm. Like twelve years later. Well, like, so wow, here's the thing. This was actually funny. Like, here's the thing. That's, that's all you guys. It's a it's a Nickelodeon show. Yeah, I'm I'm naked over here. So if you go back to the to those Nickelodeon shows, and the Victoriouses, the iCarlys, the Drake and Josh, they're still funny. Yeah. You watch them, and there's there's jokes in there that are intended for the adults that are watching with their children. Like Nick. So as a as a twenty something, thirty two, <laughs> as a twenty something and a thirty two year old. If you watch those, I've you would you would understand a lot of the jokes still because they are aimed towards children and adults. So when you're watching them, you see these like there's a joke about some guy talking about his mortgage or some stupid crap, and then there's like some kid talking about some stupid game, and it meets in the middle, and it's it's just goofy. And don't try and sell me on this. You're not going to. And okay, so like Nickelodeon has done a great job. Over the years, they've had waves of these shows, mm-hmm. and they've all been successful. I hate all of them. Zoe, one, Zoe 101 was right there with Drake and Josh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you they, move into the new wave with iCarly. They cascaded along, really. With, with iCarly, Victorious, mm-hmm. in, comes, uh, in comes Big Time Rush. 
the Naked then, Brothers band was in there. Oh yeah, too. you're right. That was like yeah. in the middle of. No idea what you guys are talking. You don't know what the Naked Brothers I band? I never, I never yeah, watched. It the was Naked basically band. Kids Bop, the TV show. Yeah. All right, if you guys want to talk Kids Bops, Dude. they at least sang popular songs. <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're yeah, good. Man. We're, we're just, we're just doing it. We're doing our thing. Like Alex Wolf is a star. Just he was. In, he's still a star. Uh, he's in the Nate Jumanji. Wolf is a star too. Yeah. He was in. Uh, he was in Hereditary. I saw that movie. Yeah, that was movie. Was that weird. movie was a fucking trip and a half, dude. That dude. was a weird movie. You're fine. <laughs> we'll just pretend that didn't happen. That movie is crazy, though. Yeah. That movie Watch Hereditary. Is absolutely still. insane. I will not. It's you. Will it's a scary it. movie. I will not. It's 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 actually got some really scary parts. If I do a Jared part, movie review on it. Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to? I because that's the only way. If you want to, the only way I will watch that movie is if it brings content to the show. Oh, it it would bring content if you did a review. Are on you it. both familiar with that movie? Oh yeah, yeah, we both watched it. I am not, and I I hate scary movies. It's it, it's not necessarily it's not scary. Even scary. It's to just the fact that it's just very unsettling. It, like it, it makes okay. you very well, uncomfortable why, watching. It. Why are they making movies like that? Like, because, I watch movies to be entertained. Well, that's what loud. scary is nowadays. All right, so this movie's going to F with me. I got it. It yeah. might, yeah. Right. You know what? I will do that. I mean, uh, yeah. When I we'll was... do... Make sure you send it to me in a message, though. Okay. So I can validate it. But when I was no, watching I it, it was like, why did they make a movie like this? Yeah. It, it's so insane. The things that happen in that movie... Just don't make sense in your brain, and you think you know where it's going, right? You and think. then it's just a fucking sharp left turn. Yeah. You're like, "What just happened?" Not not notes. just not just one, multiple. Yeah, multiple left turns. All right, well, I'll <laughs> take the, notes and one and, I'll and one do... right turn that ends very poorly for one of the characters, and one <laughs> massive phone pole, <laughs> one giant phone pole. <laughs> There's no spoilers here. No That's not spoilers. a it's not spoiler. All right, so Stu's won't awesome, be a spoiler until you watch review. it. So just to wrap up this talk before we get into Tool of the Week, Zach, top three Nickelodeon shows. Top three? Live action, not not cartoons. Oh, what do you wow. mean live action? There's so, one. Oh, what? oh. Non-cartoons. Ugh. Ugh, I hate you both. But I'm real not. people shows. Yeah, I'm not even participating. Um, Have fun, both of you. Why aren't you participating? Well, because it doesn't know. It's having live action. You watched... When I watched Nickelodeon, it wasn't live action. Yes, there was. You liar. Are you ready? It was the tail end, and I don't understand that. You are such a liar, because I know there was live action shows before that. No, there wasn't. Okay. Because all that never existed, I guess. Go ahead. Speaking of... Goddamn right. I'm going to say... Yeah. There we go. In no particular order, though... Okay. I'm going to say Keenan and Kel. Oh, yeah. Old classic. Stu would know that one. Go ahead, Stu. What do you what do you you got? Home something? of the Good Burger, Home of the Good Burger, can take your order. There we go. <laughs> the a, a great movie. Um uh follow up that with Drake and Josh, because my god, I love Drake and Josh. Watch that all the time. And iCarly. Because I think those are the staple Nickelodeon shows that you like have to have watched to have the kind of I don't know. I just feel like that's that's the cream of the crop as the far as Nickelodeon. Yeah. Yeah. As far as Nickelodeon goes, those are the shows that are live, real people that have just the best comedy out of them. No. False. Go ahead, right. Stu. So he didn't want to be a part of it. Now he does. I do. I thought of one more. Mm-hmm. So outside of all that, which is clearly number one, all that's a great show. But I it, didn't want to it, say it. It is all that. So that's the one thing I have going for me. Shh, but it's my turn. All that is a sketch comedy show, sir. And not... it is my turn. I asked you to yield the floor back to me. The other two shows are sitcoms. I asked or you the to other yield three shows. The floor back <laughs> oh my to god! Me. The other three shows are sitcoms, sir. All that is a sketch comedy show. You are quite finished. It's it my sh- turn. It's the Amanda the show. And all this. Am I wrong? I don't you know. are wrong. Let him, let him do his it list. It is my turn to hold as the As well floor. as the Amanda show. Also a sketch comedy let show. Let the man do a show. Go ahead. Or his, his. Go ahead, Stu. All right. We cool? We back? Tell I'm waiting for you to talk. 
I've been trying to talk. Some of you have been talking over me for Go the last ahead. like 30 seconds. Shut the hell up and talk. All right. <laughs> that makes no sense. So angry right now, once again. Nice. That was because. The, that, was that was the goal. <laughs> if the goal was to make Stu angry because Zach doesn't know how to wait his turn. <laughs> Congratulations. You, you jumped in on my turn. Hold on. Can we, Stu, Let's just play it back? Keep going. I mean, keep going. I, you know what? Here, put a pause here. I'm not putting and then pause. we'll go back and replay where I said there's no shut pause. The H word up. Just talk. <laughs> shut the H word. Do your right, bit. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the other pause. Do your bit. Here, Stu. Just do, do the your... other pause here. For what? Do do the button. All right. So For Jared's what? down the button. <laughs> For my turn, Zach. Then talk. You're not talking. You're yeah, just saying. It's tru- I'm doing a pause. <laughs> it's tough to get my turn when you keep talking. Then talk. I wish I could. Oh I'm rooting God. for you. Come on, fellas. Let's. We're in the home stretch here. Let's let's make it through. Come on. I feel like this is an excellent place to start. Tool of the week voting. No, because I. Haven't... We're not even done with the segment. I vote for Zach. Are you done with your? Are you done with your? Uh, your top three there, Stu. Okay, well, my top he three. He just opted out of the entire yeah. segment after opting into it. My Go top ahead. three. I'll go Drake and Josh. I love Victorious. Andre Rats. carries the entire show. That's fair. And just because of recency bias, I'll pick Big Time Rush. Fair. And, and that's it. Tool of the week time. Then who do you vote for? Include a... uh, you can You can start off. So, yeah, you start off. Zach. Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zach, you want to vote? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna vote for Stu. What? <laughs> oh my god! First Bro. of all, Bro. first of all, first of all, Bro. he asked for a segue earlier. Bro. He asked for a segue to cancel car- culture. I gave him one by saying they were trying to cancel uh, Cal Drogo, mm-hmm. and he did not go with it. Second of all. <laughs> totally hijacked the segment about asking about the favorite Nickelodeon shows because he decided he didn't want to be part of it and then decided to be part of it and then decided not to be part of it. <laughs> I'm actually a pretty good rundown. So uh, my vote's going to him. All right. Well, I have so much power right now. It's crazy. You do have power. Um, let's we, see. We, we really messed up by giving him the vote. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll... I don't feel like we messed up by giving Jared the vote. I feel like he's... All right, no, 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 no get your, get your, Shut up. get your face out of my rectum. I will make this decision for myself. <laughs> no, 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 and I know you will, which is why I respect you. <laughs> okay. person. Well, con for Stu is that he's brown so nosing right ass. now. Um, let's see. Do whatever you want. For, also for Stu, I'll go, um, couldn't even do Stu's news by, him, by himself. Had to have Zach read a story. Thank you. Uh... Yeah, well, it was fun, but right. but it's Stu's I news, it not good. not Zach's news, you know. You mm. If you stop smiling, I'll stop making it happen. <laughs> That's fair, <laughs> too. <laughs> Come on. I like I like that. The... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> also for Stu, the whole out of the segment in the segment out of the segment thing, that was annoying. Um, for Zach. Um, let's see here. Not willing to put his personal life at risk for content. Could say the same about you, buddy. Yeah, well, this is my vote. Yeah, he could. He's not gonna. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? You know what? I was gonna go on some long, drawn out thing and then pick one at the end. I'm just gonna vote for Stu. It's a good pick. Uh, it's a good pick. He, the, the, the sonic factor was he didn't give her any reasons for Zach. He just said, uh, I vote for Zach. I <laughs> hate him. That's, his that was it. That was it. that's, that's my mistake for he hates, believing that his... Uh, he hates the guy uh, who he's invited over here multiple times. His uh, line of work, I thought, had earned him. My line of work? The uh, award. <laughs> an award you're having a hard time getting to the point here it's, buddy. An ama- it's a major Stu. award like, we're gonna ask you, about we're gonna ask you to go a little lighter on the jameson next <laughs> <Yeah>. time <laughs> you're, you're taking some long pauses here <laughs> you want to give an acceptance speech to i don't want to give an expect- acceptance speech Ex- expectance 
I don't want to give an expected oh speech. God. Yeah, not a great book. <laughs> Go ahead, Stu. That's quite all right. Go ahead, Stu. Okay. So, uh, for today's acceptance speech, uh, I want to reach out to Jarrett, who I lobbed a softball up to in totally nailing zap, and yet he whiffed it much like the rest of his segments. And, uh, nothing out of him. So, it landed on me. Yeah. Is where it landed. Your softball? I, 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 I lobbed one up in the air. Look, I'm telling you, if your softball goes that, straight up and it comes back down on your head, it I, wasn't a good pitch to begin I with. I thought I lobbed a softball to Jarrett to hammer Zach. Hammer in the face. Your softball and was saying that you I hate me. Feel that was my softball, and I feel like and it where'd... was a pretty like straightforward pitch to Jarrett. Where was he supposed to go? Home run. You walked me. You walked them. You Which see what is you did? fine because if I walk you four more times, you'll get it. <laughs> if you walk him four more times, he's going home. <laughs> Three more times at least. I, I don't know. I am not a mathematician. Uh, but I am a drinker and I may have <laughs> messed up this podcast. <laughs> no, it's you not didn't mess, mess it that, up. It's still, it's still this, a great this, episode. This We've great. been laughing as long as you're the having time. fun, that's all that matters. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to go ahead and ask, uh, how do I get your money? And the only way I know how to ask that to ask Jarrett. Like, my money or their money? Their money? Jarrett, act like you're paying attention. Come I on. am. I don't understand what Jarrett, you said. the best way to subscribe to the toolbox you is, can, to, you is can, to... I got it. Okay, go ahead. Get your credit cards run it. Easily. Easiest way to do it. Follow us on all of our social medias. Twitter, Instagram, at Facebook. Or at Facebook. At toolbox underscore show. Facebook. We've drank way more than him. The Toolbox. You know, I misspeak once. Okay. Just once. Go ahead. I wish. Facebook is The Toolbox. YouTube. No. Are you even Facebook is words? at Toolbox Live. At Toolbox Live. YouTube is The Toolbox. That's uh, the same on Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts. And Google Podcasts. And Google Podcasts. But if you want to give us your money directly, and we highly support that you do, you can go ahead and become patrons. Doesn't just have to be family members. Mm-hmm. That's right. Three dollars, five dollars, fifteen dollars. You don't have to do the fifteen dollar one. Three dollars is really appreciated. You see that sticker? Nickel. You see that sticker? Look at that. That could be yours for a one dollar pledge. I'll hand deliver it myself. Also, appreciated almost as much as right Patreon is just subscribing to our YouTube. Yep, it's very important to us. Uh, all of our podcasts from now on are going to be coming out on YouTube. Um, we're going to do smaller stuff on Facebook and stuff, but all of our podcasts are going straight to YouTube and the streaming services. Facebook has kind of screwed us over as far as that goes. So keep no the small way. stuff for Facebook. I'm going to keep the real stuff for here. No way. Facebook screws people over. What? Dude, man? Get out of here. Okay. Let me FaceTime Mark Zuckerberg real quick and ask him what's going on. When did you buy that Vancouver Grizzlies hat? Uh, Last year. Lids. Hey, that's all the time we have for today on the Toolbox. Mad that I respect it. 20 bucks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching episode 12 of the Toolbox, guys. Episode to be pending. It's probably going to be about something about Stu getting a little... But, yeah. Getting what? Yeah. What is that? Stu gets too drunk and me and Jarrett vote for a patrol. Is it like... (laughs) Either way. Stu stumbles his way to Tool of the Week. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, Make sure you follow us, as I said, and thank you for tuning in. Next episode would be the... uh, Will it be Thanksgiving episode? Thanksgiving episode. Hey, next week, next Monday. (laughs) We will mix them up. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next Monday, guys. Bye. Bye.